Developing news this evening, an investigation is underway into the crash of two military helicopters near Snowbird this morning. The two Black Hawk helicopters went down near Mineral Basin. Fox 13 News reporter Eliana Sheriff spoke to a snowboarder who could not believe his eyes as he saw the whole thing. We thought it was an explosion, but we didn't, and, and we thought that it would be a complete mess, um, and thought the worst could have happened. Billy Halloran, a snowboarder from New Zealand, was enjoying a lift on the Mineral Basin chair when he noticed something strange Tuesday morning just before 9.30. And I saw the choppers coming in, and it, to be honest, it looked pretty kind of weird from the start, thinking you know, it's unusual following so close together. And he shared this eyewitness video that shows the terrifying moments as the two helicopters went down. And then I got my phone out, I was like, oh, get the landing, and then yeah, we just heard this big bang. Did both of them hit each other? Saw so one of the rotor blades go flying. The Utah National Guard spokesperson said this happened at an approved mountainous landing zone during routine training. There were four crew members on each helicopter. An incredible amount of snow kicks up, and in the, as the snow is kind of kicking around, you can see portions of the blade coming away from the lead helicopter. We're told the first helicopter kicked up a lot of snow as it landed, creating whiteout conditions. A rotor blade from the second helicopter came off and took out the tail rotor on the first helicopter. The first helicopter remained upright, but the second helicopter landed on its side. At the start, it didn't look like anyone was coming out. The snowboarder says he's glad and surprised it wasn't worse. Dude, what were they doing? That I work at sea, so I have dealt with helicopter landings and and normally ditches don't go very well. I just saw some of the crew myself recently and it was a blessing that everyone was okay, uh, which for me is the good news side of the story. Luckily, there were no major injuries. The incident was on U.S. Forest Service land and no fuel leaked as far as they know. Right now, we know that both of those helicopters are damaged. However, it's still unclear if they will be usable still. The Utah National Guard tells us that they're working quickly to get the helicopters off the mountain as safely as possible. And the investigation continues into why this accident happened and why that rotor blade came off in the first place. In Snowbird, Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah.